There is no better intro to a new episode oh, of Up North Outdoor Madness than that. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Up North Outdoor Madness. Get here. Get here. Yeah. Fuck you, fucking Cody. Uh, <laughs> that is distracting driving. You should not be doing that. God damn it. Oh, man, that is awesome. So today we're heading down in southern Minnesota. We got an opportunity to do something a little bit different than normal. Well, it's always different with us. We're kind of a bunch of goofs, but. <laughs> so we're going down by Rochester to a little town. I don't even know if it's that little, but a town called Winona. We are going to a ranch. Epic Antler Ranch. Winona, Minnesota. So this year we didn't get drawn in any other states. We applied for Wyoming third year of applying we got uh, drawn a couple years back and that was our first pronghorn hunt it was awesome time I'll throw a link down below right now to that video awesome time we've been trying to get back in ever since haven't been able to get back in so normally we do our over-the-counter stuff in Idaho well they switched up the way they sell licenses this year sold all their licenses early so no go on that so we're trying to figure out what to do. We go on a pheasant hunt in a couple weeks. It's like, ah, you know, between rifle season, muzzleloader season, and most season in Minnesota, we were kind of booked up for our weekends. It was like, ah, what can we do close? So we picked something different that we couldn't hunt in Minnesota. So we're gonna go on a little adventure to Epic Antler Ranch, and we're gonna be going after a bunch of different rams with our bows. Uh, me, me and Michael both got our bows with, we uh, have a crossbow and a muzzleloader and the 6.5 if we absolutely have to. But our goal is to go get a ram with a bow. It's going to be something totally different. I know some people are against this. That's fine. If you guys uh, don't want to watch the video or don't get into that sort of thing, totally fine. Everybody's got their own opinion. But it's going to be a fun weekend. little different adventure. Stay tuned. around the property, checked it out, kind of seen the layout, so we know where all the stands are at. We've seen, we've seen the Muslons, we've seen a, a Hawaiian, we've seen a white Texas, I think the Texas ram, right? The white one? Yeah. Um, and then we've seen the black belly Corsicans. And the Afghans. And the Afghan, yeah. The Afghan was with the Muslons. Um, so we've, I think we've seen most of the rams on the property. The muslons were actually heading this direction. They're probably what, I don't know, 500 yards away at least? Yeah, yeah maybe further than that. I think he said 800 at some point, but. So yeah, they're 800 yards away. They're kind of just meandering, drinking water in a ravine when we seen them and they went up the hillside. So yeah, we're gonna get set up, hang out and see what happens. Stay tuned.
hate this type of stuff. Okay, so we were talking about when we got here, like we forgot to bring a block so we could shoot our bows. We could just double check everything. Nickel shot everything like he was shooting this week and shoot good. But yeah, you throw everything in a pickup and then you travel seven, eight hours. We're gonna, we're kind of just waiting a couple minutes here. We checked the footage on Mickel's ram and it's, it's, it looks like a pretty good placement, but it just didn't look like it had the penetration. Like if it comes, two inches further back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing this is probably the trail. We got in there. About 50 know, yards? Yeah, 50, 60 yards. And we were following it, and all of a sudden we could hear him get up, and you could hear that arrow smacking trees and brush. So that arrow is either still in him or it came out. We didn't go look. We're backing out for a little bit, and we'll let him do his thing, and we'll come back after a little bit. Some flashlights we marked it on uh, the Onyx. So we have a spot located, and We'll go from there. So that's that's not how we wanted that to go down. That's not how Mikkel wanted it to go down, but so mad that's that's how it went down. So mad and we literally mad said it. when we pulled in at like 2.30 in the morning last night, like, God, we should should have had a block. Why didn't we bring a block? So we could double check and make sure our arrows were hitting where they were when we left home. Shit happens. All right, guys, we got Todd Miller with us. He's the owner of Epic Antler Ranch. We're going to go out and look for this ram. We tracked it in like 60 yards. We heard it get up. We heard it crash around some. We could hear the arrow. We backed out. So we're going to see if we can find it. I ain't getting too deep. Oh. You're missing six inches off there, and there's blood on four inches of the arrow, but... My arrow coming out, it's, it's hoping you bleed a little yeah, more. Yeah, it's, it's bleeding less. Yeah. Just having a hard time guessing, but I'm guessing we've gone a couple hundred yards, haven't we? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, all of that. So from where we left the arrow, we've gone a couple hundred yards. It got pretty thin for a while, but now it's been starting to uh, open back up. I mean, I would, if I really had to bet, I'd say probably 300 300, plus. yeah. Well, guys we ended up backing out of where we quit the last spot we found blood tomorrow like Mikkel said he's uh probably switching up i'm over it <laughs> so over it six five like, six. i want to kill this thing <laughs> this sounds like we're going to take out the six five creed more yeah not even muzzle or i'm just going right to the max i'm just find my you know wind made with i'd have that over yeah. uh we're gonna get started early this morning. Earlier than the first morning anyways. It's almost seven. Sun's supposed to come up like uh, 7.30. We just found the herd of mufflons. We're gonna go see if we can pick Mickles out of the group. We're not messing around anymore. We got the 6.5 with. We got an arrow in his front shoulder blade last night, so we wanna get him down. Then we'll, uh, we'll worry about trying to get me with a bow and who knows, we'll see what happens. So we just seen the other full curl mufflon that is with the one that Mickle shot. He's always with them. We've seen the other big group and we've seen the Texas Ram, one of the paints in the black Hawaiian that is always with the Texas Ram. We have not seen Mickles anywhere. The last place we saw him was right here in this stretch. So we're gonna check the spot behind us. We're gonna check this ravine here. He might have laid down somewhere last night, stiffened up. Who knows, but we're gonna keep looking and just keep poking around.
get the primer here. And... Oh, it didn't go off. We had that ram at 10 yards. Let's make sure this thing fires. Yeah. Well, we know it doesn't. Sometimes. <laughs> so, we figured out where this ram is at. He was back with the herd. He made it all the way across the ranch. Now we got to make sure Mickel's gun fires because we're going to try and find him again. We uh, could have had a shot on him, but he was laying down, nose down in the dirt. We couldn't decide if he was the right one or not. So. Fires. And you hit the bottle. That just made this a real pain in the ass. No that kidding. Having one bad we would have had him at freaking 920. Wow, that was an adventure. Whew. Oh. If he gets up and runs away, I'm just. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I think. Oh, yeah, that's good. Look at the blood on the shoulder. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, that was a challenge. That was a challenge. That was fun. Those are some massive. It's gonna make one sweet European mouth. Yeah. I like the tight full curls. Now it's your turn, Cody. Yeah, let's do this. We jumped the whole clan here. They were chilling out on the hillside. We seen, well Todd seen the one, face down, eyes shut, resting. And we were all about 90% sure that that was the one. But it's pretty hard to just go off on a whim and put a bullet in him until you absolutely know we got up here and he was hurting. He didn't go far from where we seen him. Like Todd said, 75 yards maybe, and he laid back down, so. Absolute beast. Mikkel put a finishing shot on him and now we're good. We got one, one of the slots filled. It was a gorgeous ram. Toughest ram in Minnesota, right there. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see where I first yeah. shot. Yeah, we argued about this. Like I said, Mickel said, "No, that was dirt. That was dirt." You could see right where his broadhead oh, cut yeah. those hairs right off. Shaved and look at you. Could just see this. Yeah. Yep. But he redeemed himself. Gorgeous. It's going to be interesting to see where that, if that broadhead's still sitting in him, where it's at. We're having a ram backstrap tonight. Yep. And Rocky Mountain oysters. I was going to say, <laughs> Jesus. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> <laughs> guys today is our last morning sit today's the day we're supposed to leave hopefully sometime around noon um, I haven't had a shot opportunity yet uh, last night we went for a walk because the only thing that came in was some of the, the other rams were pretty stuck to the mufflons there's uh, the odd ad style and uh, the full curl style and the only ones we saw were the odd ad style and that was last light so hopefully this morning we see something if not we're gonna get up get on the move we've seen them kind of bedded up into these rocky ravines so that's the plan sit for a couple hours pop up go check out those rocky ravines probably put a stock down see what happens i don't know just got up to the stand there's uh like four or five of the uh, mixed breed rams over there. We don't see the odd ads anywhere in sight. Yesterday they were on the other end. And from what we can tell, it seems like in the morning they hang on those rocky ravines. So I'm gonna grab the bow just in case. Nickel's got the 6.5. If it comes down to it, since today was supposed to be our last day, I'll use the 6.5, but really wanna get one with a bow, so we'll see what happens.
we covered a bunch of ground this morning moving around and trying to spot and stock and we were close to the herd a few times but they were in way too tight a cover the afternoon we moved back to the sunny hillsides and we could hear them fighting so it was game on Nice shot, bud. Oh my gosh. That was fun. So that was not the initial ram we were going for. That's not the one that was hanging out with Nichols. He's a beast though. Hey, nice shooting, oh, bud. Man. Ever since frickin' Mickle shot his, like they came in two nights in a row. Perfectly, like perfectly to that stand coming into the food plot. Mickle shot his in the front shoulder. And we chased, we've been chasing them and tracking them and stuff and so forth all over. There he is, I see horns. Oh yeah, there he is. We've been chasing them all over and ever since then they just have not hit, been hitting the food plots the same. So we kind of had to go back in here and do a stock. We sat with them at 80 yards for three hours this morning. And like we, we were starting to wonder if they were even in there anymore. And then we snuck in closer and boom, pushed the whole herd out of there. And we found them again. Here is my first ram ever. This, uh, this ram's more of an Awdad style ram where Mickles was more of that uh, full curl. It's a mufflon. I wanted to get it with the bow, but it just was not happening. Like after Mickle got his with the bow, they weren't coming into the food plots the same. They were a little spooked and they were sitting in tight cover. We got it, we, we had just a little bit of an opening over there, like a three, four foot opening between the trees. Took a shot, went down. But yeah, this was a pretty sweet, fun hunt for southern Minnesota. Something a little different. Obviously, everybody knows this is on a ranch, but if you've never done a ranch hunt, 10 years ago I said I, I would never do a ranch hunt, something like that, but me and Mickle decided, you know what, rams are something we can't do in Minnesota. So uh, we tried it out, and it's an adventure. It's, it's a different style of hunt, it's a lot of fun. He was a scrapper. Yeah. He came down that hill like, I don't take shit from nobody. Yeah, those two uh, two smaller ones, mixed breed rams were, I mean, just slamming horns to beat heck, and he come rushing down there, and you could tell he was trying to be the big dog. Yeah. That's a sweet animal. That pretty much wraps up this long weekend adventure. It was fun, it was a blast. We came down here with our bows thinking uh, this was gonna be a little bit easier than it actually was. Fun time, Epic Antler Ranch, Winona, Minnesota. We're gonna go get some drone footage, which we'll show you uh, here in a couple seconds. And we're gonna go up, pack up our animals, we'll be back on the road. It was a good time, man. Yep. That was fun. Woo! All right, guys, we gotta get Todd. One more time on camera. It's been fun. Cody. It's been a lot of fun. No, it's a blast. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, if people want to get a hold of you and do a hunt, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, call me on my cell, 507-312-0072. Perfect. Otherwise, you can catch them on Facebook. Hit them up with a message. That's how I got a hold of them. So there's a lot of fun out here. You've got some really cool land out here. The property's awesome. A lot of animals, a lot of big bucks, a whole variety of rams. So it was a good time. It was a lot of fun. You guys yeah, that's the end of this episode. I'll catch you on the next one.
I was zoned in on the wrong one. Were you? <laughs> I don't know what you got. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>